The fundamentals of the food chain are well known. Plants need sunlight, animals consume plants, and larger animals consume smaller creatures. However, there are always exceptions in nature, as shown by plants that draw, capture, and consume animals. In this video, we list down the top 10 plants that eat animals. 10. Tropical Pitcher Plant The scale of the tropical pitcher plant, genus Nepenthes, is what sets it apart from other carnivorous plants. Its pitchers can grow to be over a foot tall, making them perfect for catching and digesting tiny reptiles, amphibians, and even mammals in addition to insects. The plant's sweet-smelling nectar draws the unlucky creatures, and once they enter the pitcher, digestion can take up to two months. About 150 Nepenthes species, which are indigenous to Madagascar, Southeast Asia, and Australia, are dispersed throughout the Eastern Hemisphere. 9. Cobra Lily, so named because it looks like a cobra snake about to strike, the cobra lily, Darlingtonia californica, is a rare plant native to the cold water bogs of Oregon in Northern California. This plant is truly diabolical. Not only does it lure insects into its pitcher with its sweet smell, but its closed pitchers have numerous, see-through false, exits, that exhaust its desperate victims as they try to escape. Oddly enough, naturalists have yet to identify the natural pollinator of the cobra lily. Clearly, some type of insect gathers this flower's pollen and lives to see another day, but it's unknown precisely which. 8. Trigger Plant It's unknown whether the trigger plant, genus Stylidium, despite its belligerent name, is actually a carnivore or is only acting defensively against bothersome insects. The leaves of some trigger plant species emit digestive enzymes that gradually disintegrate their unfortunate prey, while others feature trichomes, or sticky hairs, that trap little insects unrelated to pollination. We don't yet know, however, whether trigger plants actually obtain any nutrients from their tiny, squirming victims or are only removing unwelcome guests. 7. Trifiophyllum. Trifiophyllum peltatum, a liana species, has a longer life cycle than Ridley Scott's xenomorph. It initially produces unremarkable-looking oval-shaped leaves. The plant then grows long, sticky, glandular, leaves around the time it flowers, which draw, catch, and devour insects. Finally, it develops into a climbing vine with small, hooked leaves that can occasionally reach lengths of more than 100 feet. 6. Portuguese Sundew The Portuguese Sundew, Drosophyllum lusitanicum, grows in nutrient-poor soil along the coasts of Spain, Portugal, and Morocco, so you can forgive it for supplementing its diet with the occasional insect. Like many other carnivorous plants on this list, the Portuguese sundew attracts bugs with its sweet aroma, traps them in a sticky substance called mucilage on its leaves, secretes digestive enzymes that slowly dissolve the unfortunate insects, and absorbs the nutrients so it can live to flower another day. 5. Baridula. Baridula, a South African native, is a carnivorous plant with a peculiar habit. It doesn't really digest the insects it catches with its sticky hairs but instead gives Pomeridia roridulae, a bug species with which it has a symbiotic relationship, the job. What does the Roridula receive in exchange? Well, the plant takes a lot of nutrients from P. Roridula's discharged waste. 4. Butterwort, named for its broad leaves that look like they've been coated with butter, the butterwort, genus Pinguicula, is native to Eurasia, North America, South America, and Central America. Rather than emitting a sweet smell, butterworts attract insects that mistake the pearly secretions on their leaves for water, at which point they get mired in the sticky goo and are slowly dissolved by digestive enzymes. 3. Corkscrew Plant The corkscrew plant, genus Genlacea, prefers eating minute organisms such as protozoans over insects, unlike the other plants on this list. It does this by employing specialized leaves that develop under the soil. The semi-aquatic regions of Africa, Central America, and South America are home to corkscrew plants, which are technically considered to be herbs. 2. Moccasin Plant Originally found in southwest Australia, the moccasin plant, genus Cephalotus, fulfills all requirements for a meat-eating vegetable. It draws insects with its delicious aroma, luring them into pitchers that resemble moccasins where the poor creature is slowly devoured. The moccasin plant is uncommon because, according to convergent evolution, it is more closely related to flowering plants than it is to other carnivorous pitcher plants, such as apple and oak trees. 1. Brachinia reducta. Brachinia reducta is a type of bromeliad, with the same plant family as pineapples, Spanish mosses, and several thick-leaved succulents. It is not exactly broccoli but is every bit as repulsive to folks who don't like carnivorous plants. Native to southern Venezuela, Brazil, Colombia, and Guyana, Brachinia has long, slender pitchers that reflect ultraviolet light, which attracts insects. Like most of the other plants on this list, Brachinia also gives out a delicious aroma that most insects find hard to resist. If you liked the video, smash the like button.